Hey, Sizz here, and this is another episode of my Fallout 4 Complete Walkthrough, where I basically play through the, just the main story content, get distracted a little bit, and I'll, eventually I'll go down to the DLC. You can catch these episodes every Monday, Wednesday, Friday if you like this content. Also, if you like this specific video, never forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into today's episodes. <laughs> All right, we are picking up right where we left off. Uh, after delving into Kellogg's brain, I went back here to Sanctuary, um, where I figured to deal with finding Virgil, who was in the Glowing Sea, you have to deal with the rads. Um, it's a very rad-heavy area, so I went back here and got my Fusion Core-powered uh, power armor, uh, and hopefully that will be a good um, counter to any rads that we might pick up in the glowing sea so i also dropped piper off here i figured this would be a good mission for a solo mission between me and dog meat and we're going to go ahead to the glowing sea and pick up the next story mission looking for the scientist virgil who escaped from the institute so maybe he can tell us how to get in here we go all right we are traveling to the glowing sea this is for tagen where we once were. Where we destroyed our adversary Kellogg. But we do have a long journey ahead. Where we will go ahead and um, do our best, you know. To survive the wasteland. In our very powerful power armor. We're just going to head straight for this marker too. We're not going to be cute with it. Do we find anything? Do you see anything there, dog? There's a stingwing in the distance. We're not even gonna pay attention to the stingwing. Ooh, big old thumps. We are on the road to the the glowing sea. There's a legendary blood bug over there. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, I gotta reload. Oh, we're dying. Apparently it has some kind of, uh... Some kind of poison that was killing me. It had some poison. My brain broke there for a second, so. Alright. Well, that was all me almost dying with power armor to some poisonous creature. Maybe that's the risk of just cutting straight through and not really looking at where you're going. Just cutting straight through the wilderness. No, uh, no, no fuss. We don't care about no, uh, no blood, little blood bugs that are gonna kill us. We're moving on through. Full speed ahead towards the glowing sea. What's this? What's up, settler? Please, I'm so thirsty. Could you spare any water? There you go. Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just gonna rest here a bit more until I get okay, my bro. strength back. That's cool, man. Just a little bit of a random dude just hanging out, but whatever. Whatever. Ain't no skin off my back. What's over here? Can I discover this? I don't know when I'll be back. What? Oh, there are people here? There are people here. We're gonna do a quick distraction. Are you freaking kidding me? Is that a dog? Don't 
Don't look, dog meat. I would never do this to you. I would never. I promise I would never do it. Headshot. You don't have a head anymore. No more face for you. What's up, dog meat? Did you like that little excursion? Where we basically just got a little distracted and killed some raiders. Little greenhouse. I'm not, I'm not gonna touch any of this stuff. It is gross. Oh. Razor claw. Oh, come on. I don't need this. Good job, dog meat. Uh oh. We're gonna heal ourselves for a second, because I, I I just know he's gonna murk us pretty badly. It's a legendary razor claw. Ooh, critical hit. I missed. That was a that was a scenario of where I just hit a bunch of random buttons. We're gonna quick save. Cause we might die again. There's no guarantee that we'll survive. What's over here? A little radioactiveness. Mash fusion disposal site. What's that mean? Uh. Oh, snap. There's just like super mutants hanging out. Okay. Uh. Don't mind me. Uh oh. Don't mind me just wandering into a super mutant camp. He is just going at me, isn't he? He, yeah, he got taken back a little bit. Hey, no more face for you. Uh, I don't think my dog can handle a mutant hound here. You know, oh. Punch you in the face. I'm gonna run out of shotgun shells. But I'm gonna come right at these dudes. I got power armor. Power armor. It won't last very long if I keep doing that though. There he goes. Sometimes when you wander into a random, random little pavel, you might run into some super mutants. It's just part of being in Fallout. It's part of hanging out in the Commonwealth, you know. Super mutant wrist wraps. A stim pack. Let's take it. Take it, shall we? There's one more victim. There's one more man who will die. Hold on, let, let me reload. Bye. Timber. Do a little quick save action. Switch to my laser rifle and we will continue on our way to the glowing sea. Just a minor distraction. Ooh, a little heat lightning. I can understand why they say no one comes here. Ooh, a rad scorpion. You wanna die? You wanna die, rad scorpion? Wow, you are tough. That was a critical hit. We're gonna... We're gonna back up, reevaluate. Reevaluate. We're gonna try to hit him first. There we go. So most of my oh my goodness, there's more. If 
if you tuned in for someone who's good at the game, here in the right place. All right, let's get a more powerful gun. Maybe that'll help. We're in the glowing sea, and there's a little, uh, little, little bunker over here. Used to be no more rad scorpion. I like how there's an American flag. You know what? You can kill our land, but you cannot take away our freedom. What? I, I hear a creature. Please don't try to kill me. There's an alarm going off, which is never good. Oh, probably should have done that. Okay, we're gonna... Why does every other creature have to be freaking legendary? Every other creature I'm fighting is a legendary creature. Oh! Thanks for that. Okay, we are getting blown up. Is there a terminal I can use? I can't do that while I'm in power armor. Okay, let's get on this terminal. Yes. Open the door. Okay, I get some shotgun shells, thank goodness. Some snapper apples, some weapons and stuff. Got a stim pack. It's pretty cool. Move out of my way, dog. Thank you. Let's get back in the power armor. What's in this foot locker? Some 10 millimeter. A baseball uniform. I really need that. 20 pound dumbbell. I'm just a 40 pound barbell. I'm just taking all this stuff. Okay. A psycho. I'm not psycho. You're psycho. Okay. Time to leave. You can go back into the wilderness. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I guess that one doesn't care. Just a quick save. Uh, let's keep diving deeper. What's this? What do we have here? Atlantic offices. I'm assuming these are all gonna try to kill me. Oh, so there's just gonna be so many feral ghouls, isn't there? Wasting so many bullets. What's down here? Where's this go? Uh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's killing me. He's killing me. Let's buff out. I'm gonna shoot him in the head. He's got me cornered. We're gonna go ahead and he's also filling me up with uh we we'll do more, more psycho. Got to reload. Good job, dog. Oh, this one is just kicking our butts. We are 
he is outclassing us. Oh, I'm I'm literally dying. Oh my gosh, none of my weapons are loaded. Jeez, uh, let's let's just go through. Let's just make sure they're all loaded, so we don't have this freaking problem again. Okay, there we go. This is why we buy stim packs. All right, and after exploring a random apartment building or a little office building with a bunch of uh, ghouls and one that really a glowing ghoul that really outclassed us and almost killed us, we're back on our way to Virgil. Um, almost dying really set our set our story straight. We're just gonna move on to the mission. Stop getting distracted. You know, because we could die at any point. Oh my goodness. As I said that. We're gonna... Oh gosh, there's so many of them. Holy moly. I wish I would have brought a, a companion. Because um, not bringing one is making this much more difficult. No, it's not even fucked with the legendary one yet. So many ghouls. So many ghouls. Now the legendary one. You're no, you're nothing compared to the glowing one though. So I have your head right in front of me. We're gonna just end your life. Critical strike. Man, so many uh, legendary things. Come on, dog meat. Ching his stead. The glowing sea has been rough for us a little bit. Uh, lots and lots of people have been trying to kill us. Oh, this is not Virgil's abode. This is the crater of Atom. May Atom bless you with Sister his Layla. So is this a religious cult? Wait, you guys are worshipping the radiation? That is gross. The children of Atom. You approach up? Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided Atom. in his sight. I need help. I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Adam? What? To be split in his infinite glory? Or do you seek to tear down his followers? Look for Virgil, man. Looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes. We know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. He has sought refuge with Atom. I would know more before I tell you where he is. What he sought do you refuge with Atom. Uh, I need his help reaching the Institute. I have heard of this Institute. They hide themselves, trying to avoid the power of Atom. A futile effort. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Hmm. Some believe his presence is an affront to Atom. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. Hmm. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Virgil does not want visitors. Man, this is like a cult. So he, she mentioned splitting and being one with Adam. That's like an atom bomb, like splitting. So they, they worship, you know, nuclear, the power of Adam and, and or nuclear warfare is their god. At least in a very simple, simplistic sense. Now they don't know what nuclear warfare really is. Okay. We are approaching Virgil's hideout finally after so many almost deaths. Oh my gosh, there's a death call. So one more almost death. Virgil really does not want to be found. 
Get him, dog meat. Get him, dog meat. I'm invisible. I'm invisible. You cannot see me. Um, we got we got some we got belly. Kill the death claw. We must kill the. He does not know where I am. I am an invisible. I have invisible power armor. everything. I will kill you with... You cannot find me. I am too sneaky for you. He is really messing me up. Oh, he is making out with me. Quick save. <laughs> All right. Once again, we are at Virgil's. <laughs> We almost died about eight times on this path, ending with a climactic fight versus, obviously, the Death Claw. So, we're going to continue into his cave, and hopefully he doesn't try to kill us like everything else. Virgil, where are you? Come on, Virgil. I'm, ta I'm taking your stuff. Oh, hey, they didn't shoot me. I'm taking your stuff. Give me your cans. I'm bullying Virgil. I don't think he was worth it. Take it nice oh, bro. No sudden moves. Oh, you're Virgil? I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Take it easy. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead? Dead. Don't you lie to me. It's the truth. He's dead, whether you believe me or not. There's no question it's difficult to believe. Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave? leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But no, it doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me. Why are Look you, at you here? Yeah, you're a freaking you want? super mute, man. I need information. I need whatever information you've got. Anything to help me get into the Institute. I'm sorry, what? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how yes. nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it would almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? My son. Trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. Name it, bro. You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? 
So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my own. Ah, a cure for super mutant. To me. I think that's pretty reasonable. All right. Let first things first. You know how synths get in and out of the institute? Uh, teleporter. Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly That's right. referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? Uh, lots of them. Sure, lots of them. Don't bullshit me. Don't bullshit More me. More than one of them, and you wouldn't be standing here right now. Coursers are Institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Sounds like, uh, sounds like suicide, but I'm gonna say let's go. I'm gonna be more confident and more positive. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. <laughs> Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help. That's all I can ask one. for. Where to start. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay. Okay. Let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT directly above the Institute so you'll want to head there now the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum you've got a radio on that pip boy right when you get to the mm -hmm. ruins tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in you'll be able to hear the interference follow the signal and it'll lead you to a courser then you just have to not get killed not gonna lie the odds aren't in your favor here but if you do make it remember what i said about the serum i need it badly i i really do hope you find what you're looking for sir yes sir well we found virgil that's pretty cool come on dog meat all right, guys. Well, that's a good point for this episode. So in this episode, we tried and failed going through the the glowing sea once, and we almost died several times in the glowing sea, um, all to talk to Virgil, which you just heard that conversation where we basically learned that we have to find a Corsair, steal its chip, and that is the way we can break on into the Institute. So that's where we will pick up the next episode looking for that Corsair, uh, Corsair rather. Um, well, so until then, I'll see ya. Hey guys, this is Sis here, and thank you for watching that episode of the Fallout 4 Complete Walkthrough. You can tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to get more content with a similar variety of moving through the storyline of Fallout 4. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe, and as always, have a good one.